When you're not out there, it's like a piece of us is gone. And me and Steph are really nice guys, like probably too nice, you know? And we could never be ourselves and have the freedom we do on the court without you. So it does hurt, but at the end of the day, we've been through so many battles, reached the mountaintop, been down the mountain, had to climb back up, got there again, and now we have another real shot at this. Uh, and it's been like a couple tough years, but still, we're still fighting. We're still, we're still in the mix. Mm, Tim Wegler joined the party. Congratulations. I, I, I got. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You have a glow. What? What? <laughs> glow about you today. Do I have a glow? You have a yeah. glow. Are you impressed with their run? Oh, my goodness, yes, absolutely. The yeah. discipline that they showed. I've never seen a team execute a game plan to take away three-point shooting the way they did last night because typically you overreact to getting scored on in the paint. Yeah. They never did, and as a result, they completely shut that water off. It was so impressive. Wow. All right, uh, Stephen A., let me ask you this. We'll get back to the NBA. Obviously, you just heard Clay on Draymond. What's your reaction to what he had to say about him? Well, it's very touching, and I don't, and I don't say that facetiously. I'm not – um, trying to make fun of it. I love Klay Thompson, always have. Um, I thought that um, when they won the championship against Boston, regardless of the fact that he wasn't on his A game, he had come back from that two-year hiatus due to injuries. And so I've always been an incredible, incredible fan of Klay Thompson. I think that he's one of the top five shooters in the history of basketball. Some would argue about that, but I think it's a worthy debate and discussion because I think that he is that elite. Um, and what he said about Draymond, I appreciate him saying that. I don't think it's entirely true when he said, you know, me and Steph are nice guys. Maybe that's Steph. Clay, you know, Clay, and I say this complimentary. Clay know how to get at you now. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the guy that just doesn't say anything. When you are, are, are clownish, Clay will let you know. When you somebody that's out of pocket on the opposition, Clay will let you know. Just watch some of his press conferences. Uh, but... These brothers are elite, and I get what they're bringing to the table, and I sort of see what's happening here in terms of him saying what he said about Draymond. I appreciate it. I think he's right about that. They are not the same team without Draymond Green. Make no mistake about it. But I also think, Shannon, Legs, it's an indication that the end is near, and they know it. Now, you know me, and, you know, this is what I do for a living. So, Shannon, it's no secret that I, you know, I know quite a few owners in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And quite yeah. a few executives in the league. I ain't guessing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm telling you right now that regardless of, of, of you know, the fact that they're going to make the play in, you ain't spending that money if you Joe Lacob and Peter Goober and stuff like that to be in the play in. You know, if you, you, know you, could, you could spend less money and make the play in. And so when you look at the Golden State Warriors and the fact that you have been battling through the play-in last year, you get to the semifinals and stuff like that, you do get to a point where it's like, would you love to keep these guys together? Sure. But will the money work? Right. That's the question mark. Steph Curry ain't going nowhere. I don't give a damn how much money he wanted or whatever. He got three years left, 51 this year, 55 next year, 59 the year after that. And damn it, if he wanted another contract extension, you could give him right now to pay him $100 million. They would do it, okay? And they should. He's Steph Curry. Dre is locked up. You've got him for four years, three years after this one, okay? And he's locked in at that $100 million deal. Clay is the wild card. Because Clay may want to stay in Golden State, but in the same breath, he's going to need to, he's going to feel the need to be appreciated. And if the money isn't right, which it's entirely plausible that that may be the case, then they may have to move in a different direction. And so I, I, I got that from listening to them yesterday a little bit and, and hearing what Clay was saying and why. It's almost like you reminiscing. You guys would know this better than me, football, basketball, both of you professionals. You know when a guy speak in a certain kind of way like that. It's like paying homage to each other and what you've accomplished. You do that when you feel that the end is near. Yeah, I think, listen, I think, first of all, I love what you said, Stephen A., about loving Clay Thompson. I, did you, I couldn't adequately put into words how much I admire and respect Clay yeah, Thompson. Same here. On and off the court, the way he conducts himself and has throughout his career. Look, Draymond opened the door. Clay, say whatever you want. Be as honest as you want to be. And I think Clay Thompson, he handled that the right way about a guy that has helped them win, has been next to him through a lot of battles. You can't tell me in the moment 
that some of these things have happened, and that's what Clay Thompson was thinking. Because he's not. And Steph Curry's body language said, said it all in the Orlando ejection. When Thank they're you. fighting for their lives to hold on to a play-in spot, Houston on their heels, and he gets ejected from that game. So, look, Clay, Clay handled that, I think, politically correct with a teammate while giving him credit for all the winning. I think he held back a little bit on what they really feel. Here's the thing with Golden State. Look, this is going to be, I think, a very difficult road. They're going to probably have to win two single elimination road games in the play-in. That's most likely what they're looking at, especially if they lose the game to the Lakers tonight. I don't see them escaping that. I think they're going to have a difficult time even making it out of the play and into a first-round series. And if they do that, I don't think they can escape that. So we, it's easy for us to say, well, then what happens? Is this it for them? Let's blow it up. Let's start moving people. Let's not re-sign Clay. Let's get rid of Draymond. That's easy to say it. It's a lot more difficult to actually see what that looks like uh, with two teams coming together to try to replenish for the Golden State Warriors something to stay competitive around Steph Curry while getting rid of those players. So it's easy to say it. You got to give me not hypotheticals. You got to give me a concrete solution to what that would look like for the Warriors in terms of breaking up this core in the summer. But there's no question in my mind, Stephen, I don't know if you agree, Shannon. I don't think we're going to see this core group contend again. They're not going to make a no. legitimate no. run at no. the Western Conference or at an NBA championship. They're just not. They can be competitive. They can be a play and maybe they make a playoff series. This isn't a team anymore that can do it as currently constructed. I'm a firm believer. The greatest apology is change behavior. You can't tell me you're sorry and continuously do the same things over and over. Now, Draymond Green says, I know I let my brothers down, and I promise you I will not put myself in that situation again. And what has he done since game four suspension is continuously over and over allow his emotions to get the best of him and get thrown out of ball game. And then he has to come back and say, guys, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen again. And thanks to Steph Curry, a lot of times his heroics, he's able to bail them out. How many times must you say, I'm sorry, and not change the behavior before I believe that this is who you are and this is what you're going to continuously do? I also agree with what you said at the end, Legs. I don't believe this team is not in contention because of injuries. They're just not good enough anymore. So what are you going to do? Are you, are you willing to train? Are you willing to say, okay, we, what can you do with it? Because I believe Kaminga – and I believe Steph Curry should be untouchable. Now, Draymond, Draymond is, is, is like you said, Stephen, he has three years left on his deal. But what are you going to do? Uh, Moody? What, what pieces can you – Moody and, and, and Wiggins? What can you get to go along with Kaminga and Steph and potentially Draymond to make you serious contenders? Because as, con uh, uh, as constructed currently and going to be a year older next year, I don't believe they complete next year. I don't believe they're not in contention because of injuries.